got 52 tests and this is your first in Christchurch, is that right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Um, just maybe your uh, your feelings about that, how, how excited are you to finally play a, a test match on, on your home ground? Yeah, no, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I watched um, my brother back in like 2013 play here and obviously you're based uh, myself here uh, for the last sort of 10 years and to get the opportunity to play a test is, uh, yes, yeah, pretty awesome. Have you checked in with, with Bowden? How's he doing, obviously, a um, nasty blow for him during the week? Yeah, yeah, he's doing all right. Um, yeah, a little bit frustrating when you get ruled out during the week during a training drill, so uh, yeah, we got around him and um, yeah, feeling a little bit for him, but uh, Stevie will step in and do a uh, superb job. Sam, pretty much an identical team, bar obviously Bowden and, and Stephen coming in. How important is that continuity to this group to build on what you guys produce at Alice Park? Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to be out, be out there with some people we played with before. Obviously, Scott and I have played together a, a heap of times. I'm not sure on the number, but um, it, it's great when you're starting to get that combination um, going. And, you know, it's something that just, it's kind of easy to slip back into, you know, how people play. Um, just thinking around Scott and I, like I kind of pick up on some of his body language things, so I know he's going to do this before, you know, that call's even come in, um, which is good, and that's something that um, definitely does help you play better when you have that combination of uh, people alongside you. Sam, you've been in an era where it's actually, you know, the Crusade Christchurch haven't had that many tests. Does it feel almost a bit unusual to be back playing at home? Before? Yeah, my wife's pretty happy we're here. Um, I've been sneaking home every night, so. Nice to spend a little bit of time with the kids, but um, it's, it's great uh, playing in New Zealand, but for the guys that are based out of Christchurch, it is nice to, to be here at home. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. I played in that 2013 game Scott talked about before, and I remember it being very cold, and uh, it was cold for us, but definitely cold for the opposition as well. Um, but it's a, it's a great place to play. Um, you know, I, I love it here, so it's yeah, quite excited. Is there anything you can use at Orange Theory to your advantage in, in test rugby at all? It's, uh, you know, at the same time, you, well, I love playing here in Christchurch. It's still the same size, all those things. Uh, both teams have to deal with whatever the weather throws at us, whether it's a southerly that comes through or it's a little bit dewy and it's a still night. So um, it's just being aware that it might be a little bit slipperier than uh, people were used to um, for us as tight forwards, making sure you've got 21s in versus 18s. Um, but they're all those schoolboy things that we should have nailed before, uh, before Saturday. Sam, a few weeks in there with Chase Ryan. Is he coaching the same as you guys, the same as he did with the Crusaders? I mean, how, is it different the way he's doing things? Um, he is coaching different. Uh, he's coaching at an all-back level at the moment, and, and that's, that's what we want, that's what we need. Um, obviously, both of us have a relationship with with Jace over the last you know five or six years, and it, it's great having that so we can talk about things quickly and adjust on the run whether we need. Um, but at the same time, he's definitely upping his game. He's demanding more of... Uh, people that he knows pretty well, so it's it's a great thing to have him in here, um, demanding that we grow and get better. How much of it is him the way the more defence has sort of clearly improved in those few weeks? Yeah, that's the one area that we've definitely been looking at and working at. Um, the boys have been, enjoyed a few extra malls at training, and uh, you can see the growth that's starting to come through individuals. And when you're growing as an individual, it definitely helps the team. So I think. Uh, when we were away the last couple of weeks in Africa, um, we had a number of, or a couple of sessions that were pretty heated and we were getting stuck into each other. But I think the way the non 23 set us up to go out there and perform was, was definitely something that helped. And that's something that, again, this week is going to be very important. There's a lot of the attitude when it comes to defending those balls. Um, yeah, attitude is definitely a, a key part of it, but you've also got to have the skill set to go with it. Uh, there's no point just being your head against a brick wall, you've got to actually know what you're trying to do and how to do it. And sometimes it's actually just getting alignment through the whole uh, forward pack of, of what it looks like and um, the key areas you're trying to uh, exploit. Have you guys, you became quite close with Pablo during the Crusaders season. Now you're going up against him. He said he's going to forget about being friends when he jumps on the field on Saturday. Um, I guess, how are you guys feeling about going up against a teammate and a friend now, I guess? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a little bit weird. Um, played against Pablo a couple of times before he uh, made his way down here, but you know he's not going to hold back at all. So that, that's that's great, and that's how um, it's got to be. You know, we play against each other as All Blacks throughout the whole Super Rugby 
um, time of the year, and it's it's no different. Um, we're going to go out there and try to put our best foot forward, and he'll do the same. Uh, he'll do it with obviously his own flair. Um, so we just hopefully he doesn't, you know, play that football style and you know putting in kicks like that as we know he can do. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to catching up after the game too. So uh, great player, great person, uh, and a good friend. Sam, I know how much Orange Theory means to you, and it cops a lot of flack, but you say it holds a special place in your heart post quakes because it's all you've ever really known, I guess. What is it for you that is special about Orange Theory? Yeah, well, uh, I actually played in, uh, in Jade Stadium too, so all the old AMI. Um, I played in the last Test match there and um, then saw what the, the whole community uh, went through, uh, not just here in Christchurch, but the whole greater area. Um, the things that people went through, whether they were, you know, a five-year-old kid of waiting for the parents to come pick them up from kindergarten after uh, a number of different earthquakes and, and tremors, uh, whether they were an older person um, put under stress that way. So it is great to have Test Match Rugby back here in Christchurch. I know it, it affected the community massively uh, just before World Cup and then losing um, all those Test Matches through the World Cup. So it is great to be back. and. It's a little bit uh, surreal when you start looking around. There's not actually a lot of people that um, were playing professional rugby when those earthquakes happened in the team. So it's uh, it's nice to be able to pass on some of those messages that we've had through um, the years that have gone past through uh, playing uh, here as All Blacks. Have you noticed a buzz amongst the Christchurch public with the best test in six years? Yep. You know, when the, the game got announced, uh, definitely... A few friends straight away were asking for tickets, so I had to politely say to them, sort themselves out pretty quick. Um, but no, there's definitely a buzz, and there's a lot of people coming from a, a long way away um, that can get to the game that are pretty excited. I know there's a lot of kids that it's their first ch chance to come um, and get to the game, so fingers crossed it's a nice still still night out there and not so cold. Scott, was that the, the standard for this all-black group now, the Alice Park test and the performance from this group? Is that sort of seen as the the standard to, to meet and to, to go past after the rest of this year? Yeah, I think uh, it's probably a standard for effort. Like, uh, this team's striving to get better and, um, you know, the coaching group are doing a great job at uh, driving us players to, to get better. So, um, yeah, we're looking to build on that effort. Um, Sam, <coughs> news overnight that um, your long-time former teammate, Tamara Kuhabalo, wants to play for Australia. Um, what's your reaction to that? Did it surprise you to begin? Well, I actually just found out before on the bus on the way back from the gym. Um, a couple of boys were saying that there's a, an article out. Um, my initial thought was, yeah, let them play. Um, it's just going to add motivation for us to go out and, and play against them. You know, he's a great player and he's done some amazing things for us, but um, it's no different to any other player, you know, playing one or two games and then uh, changing after a couple of years of not being uh, available for the team. Are you a little bit worried that it might start sort of, we see a lot of movement in international rugby and it loses some of its um, essence of what it has at the moment? Uh, I'm not 100% sure on all the rules around how many games and things like that, but I'm pretty clear. I think it's four years, four or five years um, since you last selected. So I think if it comes under those rules, it comes under those rules. Um, but yeah, I haven't really thought too much about it, to tell you the truth. Sam, you. you um Pitched a few line outs at Alice Park. Uh, was that a result of analysis or what you were seeing, and, and just in general, the defensive line out? How do you think that's gone? I'd love to claim it was uh, it was all me. I know Scott took one uh, in a pretty critical moment. Um, I think it's we're all looking to get better, as Scott said before, and we've got to we do have to get better. And it's quite nice when we're putting time and energy into something, and then all of a sudden you're getting a little bit of reward from it. I know for myself, it's easier defending a line out rather than defending 20 plus phases so it's quite nice to to get the odd one at source um, but teams are good um, Argentina have got a, a good smart line out they've got some good options there so be interesting to see what options they bring in the weekend